Well, it was the host against the holders in a repeat of the final from two years ago in Papua New Guinea, which Korea DPR won. But France took first blood in this one. A handball in the area by Ripom Hyang from Sandy Baltimore's cross on 29 minutes gave them the perfect opportunity to take the lead. And Amelie Delabra whacked in the penalty, her fourth goal of the tournament, and it put France in the lead against a Korea DPR side who were rather tame in the first period. It could have been 2-0 before half-time. Baltimore again involved down that left-hand side. Super cross, and Gavalry in two minds couldn't take the chance. Really good cross. Gavalry should maybe have shot first time, but delayed. The Korea DPR defending their title were more ambitious in the second half. Cho with an excellent cross, but the header by Kim Kyung Yong was off target. These were worrying moments for Gilles Ekem. Then a free kick by Kim Pom Wee, easily held by Milen Chavas. France could have wrapped it up, though, a lovely move. Katoto delaying her cutback. Zamanya arriving, brilliant block by Ri Pom Hyang. And then another enterprising piece of play by the French. The ball found its way through to Emeline Laurent and Baltimore maybe should have made it 2-0 and wrapped it all up. Grandstand finish as Korea DPR look for a winner. Header was by the defender, Rikum Kyang. Shabas made the save, and France clung on, and they are through, and the holders are out.